We have breaking news right now as we have brand new information on the homicide investigation underway after a body of a woman was found near a home in Zionsville on Monday. Our kid Hanley is live right now with the chief of Zionsville police with the latest on what is known so far. Kit. Yeah, good morning, guys. I'm joined with Chief of Police Mike Spears of the Zionsville Police Department, and you guys have been working on this homicide investigation since Monday. We know now that there's a, sus a suspect in custody, 30-year-old Graham Bixler. What else can you tell us right now at this hour? Well, we have uh, been working this case very diligently around the clock since we were first made aware of this uh, situation Monday uh, morning. And detectives have done an outstanding job of uh, putting some of the pieces together and we do have a suspect under arrest. We're working hard to, uh, to build a good case and we're interviewing a lot of people, processing a lot of evidence, but uh, we feel very confident that the person we have in custody uh, appears to be the person responsible for this. Uh, based on that, we don't believe there are, are any other persons at large nor is there any uh, threat to the community at this time. Do we know if there's any relation from the suspect to the victim in terms of is it the suspect's mother? That's very possible. However, at this point, the coroner has not been able to positively identify the, the remains which were found on the property. Once that happens, we'll have a better idea of uh, exactly what happened, who we're looking at, and uh, we'll be happy to provide updates when that time comes. And earlier when I spoke to you, sa you said that the coroner had to do some more testing because of the state that the body was in. Can you comment on that? Well, it's a, it's a situation where you can't make an initial uh, immediate positive identification. So there's some testing that, that needs to be done, perhaps DNA, some other uh, scientific analysis to, to actually determine with uh, certainty who the, who the victim is. And one of my final questions for you, do we know how long the victim has been dead? I don't know the answer to that. That is uh, one of the other things that, uh, that is, that is uh, continuing in the investigation uh, based on some of the analysis of evidence at the scene uh, and, and at, at, from the autopsy. So no, I don't know the answer to that question. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you for being with us at this hour. And Chief Spears also tells me that we can expect a probable cause affidavit later, later this afternoon or early into tomorrow morning. So for now, that's all the information we have. Do you guys have questions for us? Important for us to talk about and again I think just maybe a discussion here maybe something you can ask the chief once we get off television we only have about a minute left in the show we looked at those court documents from an incident that happened in Zionsville in June of last year Zach where he attacked his father and this at time his father was suspecting mental illness playing a role saying that his son was claiming to be God as he was beating him in the head uh, this was certainly something that police would already be aware of as they're now investigating this case yeah did you get to talk to him at all about that I know you just got that quick interview and brought it to us live so you might not have been able to get that chance yet. I have not been able to speak with him about that right now but I can ask him he's here right now if we have time in the show if not I can bring it to you at the station. Yes, okay, so we know that there was a prior situation last summer where the suspect was arrested for beating his father in the head and attempting to kill him. Can you comment on that at all? Well, certainly that's part of the investigation. We're looking at the suspect's uh, past activities and, and his use of uh, force or threats of force in, in the past. But uh, at this point, that's all uh, a part of the overall investigation. And uh, uh, I don't have the specific uh, details or the dates and times right now. But yes, we are aware of a uh, prior incident involving uh, this young man. Well, we appreciate you so much for speaking with us. Back to you guys in the station. That's all we know right now. Kit, excellent job. Thank you Thanks for that for important information. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's horrible to report on, but something that people that live out there definitely need to know.